Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Dutchie! And in today's video, I'm going to be reading and reacting to more of your coming out stories. I think it's a super wholesome video idea. And you guys absolutely loved my original reacting to your coming out stories video. I'll pop it here and I'll pop the link in the bio just in case you would like to watch it after this one. It's super wholesome, got me in the feels and yeah. And yeah, I also enjoy getting you guys involved as much as I can in my videos because at the end of the day I would not be doing what I love if it weren't for you guys. So I try and get you involved in my videos as much as I can. <laughs> so as per usual, I took to my Instagram, plug it. Um, and asked you guys to send me in your coming out stories and I am going to read and react to as many as I can. If you did send in your coming out story to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will try my best, as I said, to get through all of them, but by the looks of it, there are a lot. So let's see how we go. Also, if you are watching this and you are still closeted, please don't think that your sexuality is any less valid because you are still in the closet, because it is not at all. You never actually have to come out. You can, you don't have to. You don't have to label yourself, you can. All of those things, it's a completely personal choice and I love you all so much regardless. All right, let's get it. Okay, first one. I started liking a girl and when I told my best friend she was totally fine with it. She didn't even mind that I was bisexual. She accepted me completely. I love that. Now that is what a friend should be. <laughs> my mate said, this isn't a story but just saying hey to get in your video so you can tell all your subs how sexy I am. <laughs> now this, ladies and gents, is my good friend Dom. He's literally like a brother to me and he is sexy app so you should definitely go chuck him a follow. <laughs> I was talking to my teacher with my friend and my friend told her I was gay and my teacher said love is love. <gasps> yes, wholesome. Where are these teachers at? They need to be in every school. In the car, mum. Hey, do you like girls? Me. Yeah, mum. Okay, I thought so. End of convo. <laughs> I mean, was that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it was a good thing. I mean, she knew. <laughs> I'm closeted except for one friend. I sent her two TikToks in the second one saying I'm bi, Lameo. That's one way to do it. I sent my mum the definition of bisexual and wrote my name next to it. That's cute. At Christmas, I was getting roasted for not being bilingual, so I said, I'm not bilingual, but I could be bisexual. Take that, fam. Um, I put the bi flag on my phone's home screen and then just left my phone open at the table. Clever. Sent my BFF a pic saying the person that sent you this is bi. We met up and she was really nice about it. Perfect. I love this one. Sent my friend Ali Hill's official coming out song video and they were like, oh, it all makes sense. <laughs> I wrote a note and gave it to my mum because I couldn't physically say the words and I text my dad about it, lol. Aww. But that's the thing, like you don't always have to come out in person. That can be super hard sometimes. I came out to my friends on the bus on my way home from school, came out to my fam using a letter, and my sister also came out after she read it. Oh, that is so wholesome. I love that. Oh. I said to my dad, what's the difference between me and this ruler? I said, only one is straight. I started calling things gay. My older sister said, you're gay. I said, yes, that's it. That is iconic. I was in the park with my BFF and told her I'm gay. She shouted, that's awesome, and hugged me. I was texting my friend and I told her, she's also bi. She's the only person that I've told. It was stressing me out, so I texted my dad and he said okay, and then I cried. Well, making out with a girl in the locker room was mine. I have no regrets. I love that. My mum said, all boys are idiots. And I said, it doesn't matter, I don't like them either. <laughs> well, that's one way to come out. <laughs> I sent a meme saying the only test I ever aced was the am I gay quiz. <laughs> I accidentally texted my mum instead of my friend a meme about being bi. Ooh. One of my classmates was talking loudly during a class and said, I don't think I know anyone who's gay. And then I said, now you do. Way, the confidence, love that. When I finally came out after three years of questioning, I almost immediately confided in a friend of mine who was also bi. I knew my friends were supportive, so I told them as well. One friend, though, really pressured me into telling my parents and making me feel bad for not doing so. So then I told my parents in, like, the worst moment and wording possible. It was really awkward because I wasn't all that comfortable with myself yet. We didn't talk about it for, like, a year, but they still treated me the same nonetheless. Now we're in a good place and they knew about me going to Pride, etc. Okay, really, really upset with that friend of yours that made you come out to your parents. You shouldn't have to come out to anyone until you're ready. And even then, you don't have to... 
So that kind of makes me really, really mad. But I'm so glad that after coming out, they didn't treat you any differently and they're aware of your sexuality and everything, which is super good. But damn, some people suck. I put a Taco Bell mild sauce in the fridge that said, I like girls. Okay. I yelled I'm gay at my mum from my bedroom window and she threw a handful of mulch at me. Okay, what mum? I came out to one of my closest friends after she moved away by replying, replying to a gay meme post on her story and then a month later we're dating! Yeah! Came out as genderqueer slash trans a few months ago. My mum said that I will always be a girl. I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, some parents just aren't educated on the topic and... I mean, there's no excuse for that. There are so many resources out there that they can educate themselves on to not be ignorant and say things like that. Um, but we are always here for you and love you so much. And that's simply not true. I came out to my best friend last week, just looked at me and said, so? <laughs> Shaking my head, lol. That could be a good thing though. Like they obviously don't think that you, that that matters. Like it's just your sexuality. It doesn't change who you are. That's probably a good response. I was the talk of the school because I was seeing a girl. My mum is a teacher at that school and I had to tell her before she got told by some random kid. That sort of situation really sucks. Especially if you like felt like you had to because you didn't want someone else to tell her. But mm. I came out through Instagram and my mum said, are you sure this isn't a phase? Alexa, play Not A Phase by Jessie Page. Ah! I came out to my dad by sending him a pic of a pink, yellow and blue panda that said, I'm a pan, duh. <laughs> That's cute, I love it! I had come out to a couple of friends but I was really scared for this one. But then he told me he was a little gay too. I could tell he hadn't told people so I felt honoured. That's so sweet. I hid sticky notes around the house for my mum to find that had lyrics of queer songs. That's, oh my gosh, what a good idea. I told my best friend at a restaurant. I was so nervous, but of course he accepted me. I have not done it yet, but I keep painting my nails the bi flag, just waiting for them to ask me. Oh, that's gorgeous. I used Ali Hill's coming out song and after my mum said that she wasn't surprised and she was waiting for it. <laughs> that's cute. Ali Hills has helped so many people come out, I swear. Basically, I just started naming female celebrities I think are pretty until someone asked something. Another very solid way of coming out. This is not a coming out story, but can you say Super Corp Endgame? You're welcome. <laughs> my dad wasn't very accepting. Luckily, my mum and brother and everyone else is super loving. I mean, it, it really does suck if someone doesn't accept you. Um, but I'm so glad you do have people around you that do to support you. We all support you. Considering leaving a photo of me and my girlfriend kissing and let them do the thinking. I'm thinking of leaving a note to my parents that will say something like, your daughter is gay and it's okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's clever. I love that. I came out to one close friend and my brother-in-law. They have been amazing about it and since my fam might not be as nice, I'm going to stick with just them for now. That's a really good idea. If you do come out to someone or you know that someone will support you and you do just want to come out to someone and tell someone and speak to them about it, it's always a good idea to find someone that you know will support you and then you can just like leave it there for a while. Honestly, that can really help. This one got me in the feels. I was telling my dad about how we were getting some guy to ask my BFF to homecoming. And he was like, well, is someone going to ask you? And I was like, ha ha, someone already did. And he was like, who? And I was like, it was a girl. And he was like, really? And I showed him the picture and he was like, oh, do it. It wasn't bad, actually. Oh, that's so sweet. Go, dad. I told my friend that I'm bi and she said, me too, and high-fived me. I came out with one of your videos. My friend also came out to her family with the same video two minutes before that. Yo! <sighs> oh my god. I can't believe that. That's so sweet. Ugh. My mom said her friend said bisexuals were greedy, so I said, Welp, guess I'm greedy as fuck. We're sitting at a fire with some of my cousins, saw a best stick, and said, This isn't straight like me. I've come out three times, but never to my parents. Once as bisexual, three months later as gay, and two weeks ago as non-binary. Coming out as non-binary was definitely the most difficult because a lot of people didn't believe me, but I have a few friends who are very supportive and I love them. Yeah, I think people find it even harder to accept the whole non-binary thing, which I don't know why. It shouldn't be up to anyone. Um, but I'm super proud of you. That's amazing. I sent a letter to my parents just before going to school and they accepted me. By the way, I'm bi. That is so good to hear. I came out to my sister and she said she's looking forward to her kids having two aunts. Oh! I told my mum that I was bi using a riddle I made. I gave her hints and then she told me she loves me. Yeah! 
I came up to my twin sister as bi and she came out to me as gay right after. We high fived. My course mates found out I was bi after I brought my date to a party and kissed her. That's cute. I, so I originally came out to my close friends who were mostly LGBTQ+, so they were cool. Then I told my sister, who was really supportive, as she has LGBTQ plus friends. And in an argument, I told my mom, but she doesn't seem to remember. It was subtle. When I came out to my dad, he hugged me and said, it's okay, I'll always love you. And a few weeks after that, he asked me, how, how long does that phase last? Oh, no. Some people just don't get it, hey. I came out to my sister when she found me crying. She asked me boy problem? I said no, girl. I came out as trans to my mum a few months ago by making her watch the coming out panel at VidCon Australia. And by the way, that panel was great and I just quietly said to her, yeah, I'm trans. And she just started crying in the middle of the panel. I think Eugene was talking about gay bars. Oh my gosh, I was on that panel! Bless! That's such a good way. I came out to my mum during Girls Girls Boys at Panic at the Disco concert last year. Love that. I wrote a note to my parent and went to bed feeling sick. I couldn't sleep and late that night my mum came up to tell me she supported me. Oh. Dad, I like girls. Dad, oh, then what's the problem? I like girls too. Now we have something in common. Th that's cute. One of my so-called friends outed me so my whole school now knows. I told five of my friends in confidence but then she betrayed me. She put me through a lot when I wasn't ready. I still need to come out to my family. Do you have any advice? Also, I think that it's stupid that LGBTQ people have to come out when straight people don't. Love you and your vid. Sorry, there were so many of these. Aww. Any advice? Well, first of all, drop that friend because she doesn't deserve you. Um, and maybe tell her. It's even worth saying, um, you can't do that. Like, outing someone is honestly the worst thing a person can do. They're not ready. If you're not ready, there's a reason you haven't come out to other people, okay? Like... Oh, that annoys me so much. So big, big love to you, especially for like obviously holding your head high and getting through with that. Don't come out to your family till you're ready. If you're scared that it's going to get out in another way, I mean, you could, but if you're not ready, and th that sucks that the power has been sort of taken from you because someone else, someone else has come out on your behalf, which is very, very rude. Um, so yeah, if you don't want it to come from someone else, maybe... But I would just sit back, relax, maybe let it blow over and don't come out until you're 100% ready. I came out to my friends in a group chat on Snapchat. One of the best days of my life. Oh! I let it slip while in a pub with family. They were definitely surprised when I did. So my coming out to other people has so far been uneventful, but coming out to myself was an interesting journey. I kind of knew I liked girls for a while, but I also had a thing with a guy friend of mine. His sister thought I was gay and I started an argument with her about it. We definitely both knew I wasn't straight, but I was in full panic mode. She ended up giving me really great advice about looking for those relationships in my life and taking time to understand myself. I began to come out to myself while dating her brother and ended up breaking up with him shortly after. Anyways, now I identify as queer, maybe bi or pan. Oh, bless. My brother threatened that he was going to tell my dad I was bi if I told my dad a secret about my brother. So I messaged my dad saying, one, my brother's secret, and two, I'm bi. And he replied with, it's okay to feel feelings towards a girl at your age. Then a couple of weeks later, me and my brother were playing on the PS4 and my brother said to me, I know, I know dad is homophobic, right? And it was the saddest thing I'd heard, so I didn't say anything about it until around three months later when I messaged my dad asking if he was homophobic. And he said, no, why do you think that? And I said, because my brother said it, and he said he had proof about it. Then my dad said, I'm not homophobic. He's being a twat and messing with you. It was a great relief because I thought my dad didn't accept me. Oh, well, I'm glad he does. I only told my sister about it, so technically I'm still in the closet. So about six months ago, I told my sister that I'm bi and she was really supportive. But then I realized I was a lesbian. So about two weeks ago, I told her that I'm a lesbian and she said that she already knows. So I'm really grateful for my sister like this. Now I have to come out to my parents. So keep your fingers crossed that they will accept me. I made out with my best friend at a concert. And after that, I told her I think I was bisexual. She was like, okay, I kind of knew. She's mostly straight, by the way. <laughs> so I discovered I was bi over the summer. Naturally, I wanted to come out, but wasn't ready immediately when school started. I decided that I would come out to a friend with an online escape room. That didn't work, so on September 23rd, I decided I would come out. Bi Visibility Day. I liked a game that Lily Singh played on her talk show called Turtle Pepperoni, so I played that. I said, I'm Flowerpot, and my two friends, one I'm not really friends with anymore for different unrelated reasons, had to guess what word was being replaced with Flowerpot. It was bi. 
After half of recess spent of them trying to figure it out, one said, bisexual, and that's how I came out. Pretty weird. In short, I came out with turtle pepperoni. That is wholesome. <laughs> I was waiting for the right time to tell my family. I kept putting it off. I was away at uni, so I told my mom, dad, and bro via a Facebook message. It was the morning after elections when Trump became president. I was like, now my I was like, now might be a good time to tell you that I'm gay. They were all supportive. Oh, bless. Funny coming out story. So my mom had two of my cousins who were about her age over at the house one day. And me being the stereotypical gay, I'm wearing a flannel and a beanie and not sitting properly in a chair, haha. Ha. So one of my cousins questioned why I'm wearing, in her opinion, winter clothes in the summer. By saying, why are you wearing that? Isn't that more of a winter look? And me not thinking, I just say it's more of a gay look. And walk away and start freaking out in my room on a call with my girlfriend because I didn't know how they would feel. But then I came out of my room later and my cousins were showing me some of their gay friends and saying they were completely accepting of me. That is literally the best outcome. I love that. I texted my mum on June 2nd, 2019. I sent her the coming out song on YouTube. She texted me back and asked what's this. I told her I was gay and she came into my room and I started crying and she said no matter what she would love me. She said nothing could ever change that. She said I love you more than there are stars in the sky and grains of sand on the earth. This, that's something she has always said to me. Anyway, you helped me come out to myself and make me feel okay to tell my mum. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. I told all of my friends I was discovering who I was and that I was bi. Some had better reactions than others. I wasn't ready to tell my mum, so I kept putting it off. What I didn't know is that my friends were telling everyone. I live in a very small town. One afternoon, my principal talked to my mum after school and told her I was bisexual. <gasps> When we got home, my mum asked me if I had something to tell her and I broke down and had to tell her. She also told me that my whole town knew. Honestly, it was one of the worst experiences. I'm still not accepted in my town very, very much and I never talk about my sexuality with anyone anymore. That breaks my heart. What in the world? And the principal had no right. No one had any right. Honestly, small towns are the worst for that sort of thing. I feel your pain. I love you so much. And we are always, always here for you. So I was at school and in class. The teacher stepped out of the room and she said she would be back in five minutes. So I went up to the whiteboard, got everyone's attention in my class and drew a curved line on the whiteboard. Then I said, that's how straight I am. Everyone was confused. So I said, I'm bisexual and just rubbed a line off the whiteboard and sat down as if it was so normal. The teacher still doesn't know what happened while she was gone. Oh, that's a different one. So my entire family was raised Catholic. I was always taught being gay is a huge sin and was so disgusted in myself when I couldn't stop my attraction to girls. My relationship with my parents has always been rocky. Social workers, hospitals, kind of rocky. But my mum has, has been trying to f so hard to fix our relationship, so I came out to her for the first time last year. She laughed it off saying I was funny. I was so pissed I walked out, pissed I walked out crying. After a while, she told me she loves me and accepts me for who I am. And just to make sure, I came out again to her, and she got me pride flags and enamel pins. I'm not out to the rest of my family yet, but my mum is going to help when the time is right for them to know. Oh. I came out to my cousin at a sleepover, and before I told her I was bi, she was making fun of gay people. So I stood up for myself by telling her that there is nothing wrong with people loving who they would like to, and I don't see why she should be like that. She now supports LGBTQ plus rights and is proud and happy for me. Yes! What a turnaround. So she should be. Okay, here's my coming out story. So I realized it when a peer advocacy group on my campus asked about questioning your sexuality. It took me about another month to come to terms with it because after I thought about it, I had always had feelings for boys and girls. The first person I told was my friend whose twin was gay. Since I knew she'd not care, I used her to figure out if telling the rest of... I used her to figure out if telling the rest of my friends was a good idea. We had a classic American girls in the bathroom chatting situation. It was weird, but they literally were all like, no shit, Sherlock, so, you know. Next was to tell my mum. I wrote her a little comic note, and then I did every year, and I did every year of my life an accomplishment for something that happened. But that year, I put, I came out as bisexual. I hid it in her purse where I knew she'd find it, and she was totally cool with it. My dad still doesn't know because he's a homophobic Trump-supporting ass, but yeah, that's my coming out story. Oh my god, I am so, so, so proud of you and I'm so glad your mum supports you and that you at least have that support. <sighs> my coming out story to my best friend. So I did this on the first day of Pride Month. I texted her, hey, can I talk to you? And then about an hour or two later, she responded with, yeah, sure. And I was shaking so freaking bad, you have no idea. And then I said I would 
tell her when I was ready and she was like no now and so I responded shaking my ass off um I think I'm a lesbian and after a few minutes she said awesome I will support you no matter what I love you and you are amazing she's honestly amazing and when I got my first girlfriend she told me that she loves and supports us both I'm so lucky to have such an amazing best friend yes so I'm only out to two people right now and I told the first person a few months ago. I go to summer camp every year and I decided that I wanted to come out to my counsellor because I just really wanted at least one person to know my entire truth. I told her and I wanted to talk to her about something so we sat together and it took me so long to actually start talking. Eventually I told her that I'm gay and she was so so sweet and super supportive and it was great. And because she's also gay, it created such a great relationship between us and I asked her so, so many questions about coming out and I just like being gay in today's society and since then she has been one of the most important and helpful people in my life. When I made the decision to come out to her, it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. <sighs> yeah, success, love that. My coming out story has two parts. Part one, I came out to my friends and sister almost immediately after I realized I had a crush on one of my friends and they were so supportive about it that even made one of my mates comfortable enough to come out to me as well. Bless. Part two, I wrote my parents a coming out letter because I didn't want to, I didn't have the courage to say it to their faces. My mum and I have had a few conversations about it and she seems chill, but my dad hasn't said a word about it and that was months ago. P.S. My sister is so supportive of my sexuality and even helps me get over my past crushes or girlfriend. Oh my god, bless. This one's a video. I just want to say, first of all, I really love you and I love your videos. But, so, my coming out story is, I left a note in the morning, because I'm alone in the morning, so I left a note for my dad. And I just told him, like, yo, I'm gay. And then I left for school. And then after school, I had theater rehearsal for a play I'm in. And then I was like, oh my gosh, my dad's getting home from work now. He's going to see it. I had literally such a panic attack at rehearsal. And then he texts me and he says, it's okay, I still love you, with a rainbow flag and a rainbow emoji. And then I was like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's my coming out story. Not very exciting, but wholesome, I guess. That was so cute. I loved that. Ah. Coming out for me personally wasn't that hard. The hardest part for me was coming out to myself. I remember standing in front of my bathroom mirror and muttering I'm bisexual to myself. I remember looking back at myself and crying for a good half an hour. I told all my family by making the most savage comment during one of their gay chats. I said, how do you know unless you've tried it? The looks I got served were amazing. I love all my family and everyone around me is so accepting, which is the most heartwarming feeling ever. I love all your videos. Big love, Dutchie. So much love to you. I feel that on a personal level, amazing. I went to this Halloween party with people from my class, 15 girls or something. After trick or treating, we went back to one of their homes and watched a movie. Two girls were cuddling. Everyone noticed but didn't want to ask. Eventually they kissed and came out as us to bu and came out as bi to us. As a bisexual, I was so happy for them. Two other girls came out as well, so I decided to join. At the end, we figured that every single one of us was bi. By the way, you're my favorite YouTuber ever. I love you. I love you so much, and that's a wholesome story. When I came out, we were eating dinner. We had a huge fight about why gay people have a bit of freedom now and why there isn't a straight pride month. My parents are super influenced by religion. My mum was really upset, and my brother came into, a d into the dining room and suddenly said, well, I think you are gay. It's obvious, sis. My mum started to yell at me and said I'm a disappointment. It happened three years ago. Now I'm 17 and we'll probably all go to hell, so I'm really looking forward to that, guys. Sometimes I'm still sad about it, but my friends are supportive and they helped me to move on beyond. I know a lot of people from LGBTQ community creating such a powerful family thanks to our colourful perceiving hearts. I'm sorry, my English is bad. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I am very happy to hear that you have supportive friends and obviously the LGBTQ plus community is super supportive of you and we are as a family too. Um, we are definitely growing as a fam and it's amazing. So over the summer, my twin sister caught me speaking on the phone with the first girl I fell in love with. She insisted that I told her who I was speaking with after I finished the conversation. Bear in, mi bear in mind, we never talk about our personal lives to each other. Anyway, she asked me and I said, just a girl I'm speaking to. So she looked at me and asked, are you gay? To which I said, no, but I'm bi. There was a short pause and then she said, oh, I'm gay. We laughed and even high-fived and for the first time talked about our personal love lives and showed each other our Tinder profiles. We'll go to Pride together next year. Oh my God, that is wholesome. Wow. 
Twin stinks. Oh my god, wholesome. I still had so many more, so I think I'm gonna do a part three if you guys want me to, or if you missed out this time and want to send yours in. Thank you so much for sending me your coming out stories. I loved reading and reacting to them, and I hope you guys enjoy listening to them as well. It's wholesome. I love it. What a mood. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!